Are you serious right now? That's breakfast. I'm an adult. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time Joe eats ice cream for breakfast, you'll be alerted to it. I'm an adult. I'm absolutely an adult. Look, I'm having... Me a, thinks thou dost protest too much. I'm having an egg. Okay. That have, seems very adult. We have a coffee. Okay, what's in our coffee? An egg. Okay. It's a very heavy egg day. A heavy egg day. Well, I can't have any butter in my coffee because I'm eating ice cream. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what do you have planned today besides, you know, your ice cream party? You want some? Vanilla. Isn't that better than that? It tastes delicious, but I kind of like something warm in the morning. It's like 80 something degrees outside right now. The sky is the warm in the morning. Is that what you're saying to me? <laughs> I won't eat this whole thing. I'll probably eat about half of it. Um, but it's, it's, I told you yesterday, I want ice cream for breakfast. I, there, there's you something can have about ice that. cream for breakfast on keto. That's acceptable. If, if it's the right kind of ice cream. So what is on my agenda for today? Um, I have some videos to edit. I have a little bit of work to do. Um, I have to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> Are you looking forward to this appointment? Um, yes and no. I still don't like confrontation. I don't know what I'm going to say to him. Honestly, I don't even really want to go because it's like smack dab in the middle of the day and I feel like it's, it's like taking away from other work that needs to be done. I think you just want to avoid the confrontation. That's what it feels like to me. Well, you know, Here's the thing, it's like you go in there and like you're in there for just, he literally works on you for like two minutes and I then think, sticks you on a table that's a massage table. I honestly think you have the potential to do him a service and that is you need to change your game plan. Well, you know how like... I need to dry my hair is what I need to do. You know how some people like they're just never going to hear you. Like think about keto, right? You, you can talk till you're blue in the face about how much healthy you're going to get if they think, and, and they're just not going to hear you. If they think what they're doing is working, right. then yeah, you're not going to come And out. sometimes you can tell like just by looking at a person or seeing their mannerisms that they're not going to hear you so don't waste your breath. Right. That's kind of him. He, 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 just from my first two experiences with him, he's a little bit about himself. Like I've won the over 60... Uh, CrossFit competition. Look at me. I was a natural competitive bodybuilder when I was young. He walks don't, you around the office and shows you all these pictures. Don't judge a book by its cover though. Plan on planting a seed. Don't feel like you need to harvest something today. You don't need him to change his ways like right in the middle of the street there. Well, but I'm like, going to plant the seed all right. Plant the seed. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then we have our live stream tonight. We do. And while you are working i have um basically like a convention going on at church where there's lots of um pastors and families and ministers from like all over that's coming to kind to of learn more about how we do ministry maybe i can use this today i definitely i feel so. like a character from a movie right now are you gonna try your john i'm if it works it's if the weather holds up too if the weather holds up um yeah why don't we i say i don't know maybe we'll do something cool in this video later on today i don't know you'll have to watch the video to find out uh the salt it, it this is like so funny so i love caleb caleb it does he, his chore in the house is clean the kitchen every night 99% of the time, Caleb, like, he empties the dishwasher, he finds something on the counter. Good morning, Tabitha. Good morning. And you're not getting my egg, and you're <laughs> certainly not getting my ice cream. She's like, come on now. And he just kind of puts stuff anywhere he can find a place, right? Junk drawers. It's like, um, our junk drawer, I'm constantly emptying out the junk drawer. 
And like, do you guys have organized drawers? I'm, a, I'm ready, when we redo our kitchen, I'm putting labels on the outside of all the cabinets. This is where the glasses go. This is where the baking products go. That seems very adult. I, Paul, it's, have you ever looked at Miriam and Chris's kitchen? Oh, that is so the most perfectly organized. Gorgeous. It's awesome. Plus, it's huge. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to move just into their kitchen. Can I live just in their kitchen? It's beautiful. Their kitchen and their bathtub. That's it. Yes. I don't need anything else. Just give me the kitchen and then the bathtub. I can live in those two places. They I'll sleep in the bathtub. Freakishly amazing bathtub. That We can have some good meetings in that bathtub. Why not? Okay, so anyway, he, he just like, there'll be piles. Like, I'm not quite sure where this goes, so let me put it up here on the counter. The one thing that Caleb is insisted on putting away and putting away actually where it belongs is this salt. He's protecting the Redmond. So I pretty much use this shaker bottle for one thing. I use this shaker bottle for when we make our eggs. So I keep putting it over here right next to the electric Blackstone in a spot going, this is where it is. And then every morning I go to make the eggs and I'm like, where's my salt? It's in the cabinet. Well, at least you know, you can count on that. I can count on that. That every day it's going to be in the exact wrong place. I'm still on the hunt. I feel like the Pied Piper for, for catching mice. <laughs> now here's the funny thing, okay? So the other day I, we try the electronic machine and I go out at night and I open up the shed door because they're, having a they're all active. And I'm literally watching one of the mice sit, hmm, eating some that? kind of food that he has brought in there. And literally within six inches of this thing that's flashing strobes and making sounds. And he's pretty much looking at it and being like, you're kidding me, right? Apparently we got disco mice. So yesterday I go to Home Depot and I spend over $40 on rat traps. I, I bought every kind of rat trap. This is all stuff outside of our ribeye budget. I understand that, but I can't take the mice. I buy all these rat traps and everything, and I set them all out, and I go out there. I figure within an hour I'm going to get one. No. I go out there before our live stream last night. No. Nope. I go out there before I go to bed, 11 o'clock at night. No. Go out there this morning. No. Not even a sign of them. What do we have? Like Einstein for mice? And it's like, I, like problem solvers. I just want to get rid of you. So one of the things that is on my agenda for today is probably to empty out the shed, get all the mouse poop out. It's all over the floor because they've been having a field day in there. <laughs> and then what I'm going to actually, hopefully if there's good morning, morning everybody Charity. wants to say hello. Uh, hopefully, um, if they are still in there, when we start moving stuff around, we'll chase them out. And then I'm going to use chicken wire and seal off any areas they possibly could be getting in there. But they're mice. They can go through a tiny little bit. Because our storage shed is not so much a place for storage as it is a public restroom for mice. Right. Well, I've always had to leave the rafters open a little bit because we store gas cans in there sometimes. Yeah. And so you need ventilation. Yeah, some kind of ventilation. And so, yeah, so that that is the plan. And then we're going to see how everything else goes. And I think somebody wants to go for a walk. I, I certainly think somebody wants food right now. I think that's more of what she's telling us. Everybody in the house is eating but me right now. How excited are you? For what? For this weekend. What are we doing this weekend? Didn't you see John Paul and Michelle's text message? I answered them. Are they coming over? No, they're going to Universal. Do we get Jenny? We're getting Jenny. It's a grand puppy weekend. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't tell Tabitha. Let it be a surprise. She is going to be so excited when she gets to spend three days with Jenny. Here's going to be the real problem. They're going to have sleepovers. We're going to build forts. Uh, how about like the pool? They're going to be never ending in the pool, and you're just going to have running dogs. The boys may move out after this Can one. Can we go to a park? Yeah. You, sir. You know, it's getting to the point where I don't want to get up, but you make me get up because you sit there and come in and stand over us and go, where's my food? It's time to eat. You know, I have to wait. Why can't you wait? And you're just looking like, I don't care. What does mommy got over there? Is, is she eating something that I'm not getting? So I am heading to the chiropractor for my final visit that I paid for through my Groupon. 
And after I'm done, I'm gonna have a little confrontation with him. A nice confrontation, but a confrontation nonetheless. And I'm gonna let him know, hey, the other day I got here early, I heard your conversation, I really don't like your business practices, and I will not be continuing with your services anymore. So? What's our saying in this house? Do I need to grab a glass of wine? <laughs> Is it that bad? I don't want anybody to think we're alcoholics. It's a joke in the house. It's just a, a term we say for like, we need to talk about this. Wait till you hear this. Right. While I was on the decompression table, I heard him talk to three new patients. Now you gotta remember, I'm there for 35 minutes. He's now had consultations with three new patients. Every single patient got word for word the same thing. Your neck is straight. If you take this to an orthopedic surgeon, they're gonna say, look, there's no bone spurs, there's no cancer, there's no tumors, you're perfectly fine, go home. And, I mean, literally says it to every single person. And I'm like, and does everybody that comes in this office have military neck? Like, yeah. <laughs> every single one. Every single them. one. Right? Everyone has the same. Well, and here's the thing. When you go into this office, and I don't know about other chiropractors. I mean, yeah. I've been to a chiropractor before, and the last time I went to a chiropractor, which was probably about three years ago, the chiropractor spent 30, 35 minutes working yeah. on me. And he would when put I a TENS Virginia, machine on me and everything. I had an awesome chiropractor, and I actually have a friend who became a chiropractor, lives in a different state. Of course, that does nothing that to help, help us, us right now. now. But he was a super great guy, a total man of integrity. So this like doctor this literally, so they put you on this table mm -hmm. and it, it kind of moves up and down and he says it's going to stretch you. Okay. And then one of the nurses or whatever office assistants comes over and they use this massage thing on your back, which That's I'd love nice. to buy one of those things because you yeah. would love it. It's just like this big vibrating pad. And that's like... How long they use that on you is all dependent on how long does it take for the doctor to get over to you. So uh, one time they were massaging my back for like a minute and a half, two minutes. The next time it was like five minutes. Today, 25 seconds. So the guy good. goes, the doctor comes over. Okay, I'm good. And and my massage is over. My, my, my vibrating thing on my back is over. I'm like, like, well, that's oh, the best like part that. of this whole thing, right? No kidding. The doctor actually works on you for... I am not exaggerating less than one minute. Oh. It's literally, it's like crack. he presses down, he's got something, he goes tap, 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 sit up, let me adjust your neck, you're done, move on to the table. Okay. Like literally, that's it. I mean, less than one minute, what am I paying for? Then I go over and I lay on works. the decompression table and now I'm listening, okay? Again, I'm very familiar with HIPAA laws. I help my mom when HIPAA was coming into place and he's using patients' names and I hear him saying the same things to Not every great. single person. In the 35 minutes that I was there, the doctor saw nine patients. In 35 minutes. In 35 minutes. He's like Speed racer, go well, speed because racer. he's not doing anything. It's like go an assembly racer, line. Go from here go. to here to here to here. And you're not, he's not actually doing anything with you. Wow. Okay. So I get off of the hydro massage table, which let's face it. I can go up to planet fitness and pay $20 a month and get a hydro massage table. Yeah. And that's what you just spend the most amount of time on. It's like eight minutes on a hydro massage table. Right. So they're like, okay, we need to go over your treatment plan. And the doctor did make sure to walk over at, while I was on the table and say, I just want to remind you that every treatment builds on top of the other and you probably won't feel relief until you get about 15 visits in. And he's like, when you do, generally the manipulation only lasts for one day. So today's Thursday. By Saturday, you'll probably be back in pain, but that's why you come back on Monday so we can fix it. And he it's was like, eventually, good. after about 20 visits, you'll be able to go to a week and maybe two weeks. But he was like, this is just how chiropractic care works. And that's what the doctor okay. says to me. I'm like, okay. Whatever, we're not chiropractic. So they go, okay, we need to, let's go over your treatment plan. So they bring me into this back office. Did it feel like at a car company, like the back it, room? It was totally, I, I call it the glass booth. Okay, so you ever go to buy a car, you, you make your deal, now they have you sit in the front. I don't know about other states, but here in Florida, you can walk in and pick out a car and walk out two to three hours later and you yeah. have your car. So 
They put me, when you go to buy a car after you've made your whole deal, now they take you in the back to deal with the finance guy and they try to sell you everything, everything. in the world, right? You need an extended warranty, you need an alarm. Fuzzy steering wheel. You need paint protection, which is nothing more than a wax that doesn't Purple do tires. anything. I mean, all of these things. And that's what I felt like. I was put into this little booth with not even the doctor, okay? Oh. This isn't even the doctor. They put me in with, I don't know what you would call this guy. He's not a nurse, but he's wearing scrubs. If you were in a medical office, I would say it would be like the equivalent of like maybe a nurse practitioner for a doctor okay. or something like that. All right. So he sits me down. He goes, let's go. He's like, have they gone over your x-rays? I'm like, no. He's like, well, we went over them the day you came in. So we don't really need to go over them. I'm like, well, I'd like a copy of those. And that's when he said, if you want a copy of your x-rays, it's a $200 charge. That seems like a lot. Oh, this gets better, baby. So now he goes, okay, so we know that you need some help. We know that you have military neck. We know that there's a possibility that you have a herniated disc down on the bottom. And that's why you have some sciatic pain once in a while. So what this is going to take is 24 visits. And I'm like, okay, I want to talk about something. How do you know if my body heals in 24 oh, exact things? The, uh, well, we're jumping ahead. Okay. So I say, I want to talk about something. I'm like, the other day, and I tell him, the other day I came I in you. and I heard your conversation. And he tried to, in a nice way, say, I'm wrong. He didn't say the words I'm wrong. What he said was, you heard wrong. He's like, you probably I walked in name. towards the end of the conversation and didn't hear the whole thing. I'm like, okay. well, I heard the term Groupon. I heard him say, you need to get people to sign up for more visits. That's your job. And I heard him use my name with regards to what was wrong with me, which is a violation of HIPAA laws. Yeah. Now, there was nobody else in the office, but I don't want anybody else in the office to know my business. That is what HIPAA is. It's protecting my privacy. Right. That's right. True. So he's like, OK. So he's like, well, let's go. And he, he moves on. He goes, let's talk about your treatment plan. And he goes, so you need 24 treatments. So not even embarrassed. No. Nothing. Not even a look like, gosh, we really probably should stop. No. So he goes, you need 24 treatments. And what we're going to do is we're going to do 40% off of your treatments. Okay. He was like, so, and he handed, he's like, this is your personalized treatment plan. I feel like it's not And this is what he hands me. Which is already photocopied. I don't, and like, I don't know if it'll your... work. But first of all, it's a photocopy that's not straight on the paper. Like, yeah. look, it's not even this straight. Been used for years. There is blemishes up here. My <laughs> name isn't written in. It's a form letter. This is just for you. Do you not feel special? And he got, after he was done, he let me make a copy of this so that you can bring it home. What are you making a copy, a copy of? of? It, it doesn't even have that. my name on it, right? And so he's like. Here's all the fees. So your name is patient. Every adjustment is $76. Every therapeutic activity is $65. $50 for a hydro massage table. Wow. Again, I, I can go to Planet Fitness and pay $20 a month and get the hydro massage table as much as I want. $60 for thoracic, uh, for medical traction, which is the, yeah. the spinal thing. $40 for, for teaching me exercises. And $75 for joint mobilization. Then I'm going to get three exams and reports of finding. And I have to go three times a week. And it is going to be $4,800. What happened to like 2000 So he was like, I'm going to take 40% off. Oh, okay. Is that in the worksheet? With yes. An, oh, okay. An administrative discount. Aww. And it's going to be $2,880. I feel like everybody gets the administrative discount. So I said to him, obviously, it's on the form letter, <laughs> right? So then I said to him, well, I already had three visits. He goes like, oh, that's right. You had three visits. So that means we're going to do 21, which is also on this form. Nuh-uh. Yes, look. Oh, if you had 21. 21 sessions oh. will be $4,200. And then my responsibility would be $2,520, which you must pay in full before you schedule your first appointment. Sure, let me just get the $2,500 I've got in my back pocket. So, Are you serious? So I say, don't, I say, I don't no. think I'm going to do this. And he yeah. was like, can I ask why? He was like, is, is your health not important? I'm like, number no, one, I have to figure out the money. He's like, is your health not? He's like, what's more important? I mean, it sounds like us when it comes to keto, right? right? Your health is most important, right? And he's telling me your health's not worth $2,500. He's like a hard salesman, right? And so I was like, well, listen, I don't like what I heard the other day. I don't like the fact that other people hear me. 
I said, can you explain to me why the doctor didn't come in here to discuss my medical care that I'm discussing it with you? He's not even coming in. He He's so busy that he can't come in and discuss right. it with me. And I'm like, honestly, I, I feel like this is nothing but an assembly line. Yeah. What if I take 50% off? What? Just like that? Just like that? Yes. So basically, if you're a haggler, if you push back. Oh, so no. He, he was like, he was like since you're so upset and, and, and you think you heard something, we want to make sure you're comfortable. So it's, I feel like it's a bribe. Right. <laughs> so we're going to take 50% off if, like, you know, you want to continue. But you got to pay for it all up front. And I'm like, yeah, I just, I just don't think so. I'm just not comfortable with it. I said, honestly, for the little bit of time that I spend with the doctor, I feel like I can do everything else on my own. Right. And he was like, it's not the same. And I promise you within a week, you're going to be back in the same pain. Okay. And I'm we'll like, okay. And he was like, well, let me give you this home and you could take it home and you could discuss it with your wife. And, you know, I think that you, when you really sit down and think about it, you're going to realize that we're going to be able to do this for you for $1,200. You're not going to find a better deal. I'm like, and so I said to him, I think what I want to do before anything is I want to discuss it with, a, you know, an actual medical professional with a doctor, maybe go to my orthopedist. And he was like, an orthopedist is going to tell you there's nothing wrong with you. And they really don't understand anything when it comes to the spine. That may be news to them. I, I, I would agree, right? Wow. So, okay. So I want to go back for a second to, to something that you said, which is this guy saying, like, do you prioritize your health? Of is, course I do. Is something that we say. Right. What is so beautiful about keto versus handling everything? Because this was like, this is one doctor. We used to have like 10. Yes. We had a doctor for everything because we were sick all the time. We had to see all kinds of doctors. And you're always making these hard choices of like, do I pay for this surgery? Do I continue paying for this medicine? Do I need to come, you know, three times a month to this? Because, yes, I do prioritize, right. you know, my, my health. I want to, to live. Yes, I get it. I want to live. What I love is... We have fewer and fewer of these interactions on keto. Mm -hmm. And when someone posts the question like, how how important is it to you? How much of your is your health a priority to you? There's no dollar sign attached to it. Right. I'm just buying food. Right. I'm buying food and I'm gonna eat food anyway. Right. Right? So it's like I love the fact that I'm not having to buy in. To some 2003, depending on what day yeah. you get or how good you're when, at paddling. When we say you need to prioritize your health, we're talking about... Go exercise. You know what? Exercise. If you prioritize have friends protein. and family members who are like being negative towards you, you have to put you first. Your yeah. health needs to come first because you're no good to anybody if you can't get your health in order. It's instead of going buying a Starbucks coffee, buy a good steak. But again, you were going to buy different. the steak. There's a big difference between that and, and basically trying to upsell me like a used car salesman. Right. So in the end, I'm glad that we'd already made the decision. And yeah. fortunately, we found this out. I mean, kind of confirmed it. You know, I, I had already even before I heard him made the decision that we were going to try to do things. And, and I'm already seeing results. I don't think it's because of what he's done. It's because of the exercises I'm doing and sleeping different. And, Pillars are you know, again, if I need it, I'm going to go look for a physical therapist. There's plenty of YouTubers online that are physical therapists. And, and I've been watching some of their things for exercises. And we're going to go that route. So today for dinner, we're going to have bacon wrapped filet mignon. So first thing we're going to do is get our cast iron pan hot. So we're just going to go ahead and turn the heat on there. The other thing I meant to mention is you need to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. So while the pan is preheating, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the steaks. So I have four filet mignons here. And as always, make sure you take them out of the refrigerator at least a half hour to an hour before you're gonna cook them. You wanna bring them up to room temperature. Uh, now I've already done that and I already pre-seasoned them uh, with the Redmond lemon pepper using something a little different. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a slice of bacon and I'm going to wrap it around the steak. 
Now you can use a toothpick here, except for I don't have any toothpicks right now. So the way I like to do this is actually with a piece of butcher string. So I'm gonna take a piece of butcher string, string and I'm just going to lay it down. We're gonna go ahead and tie a knot in the string and this is gonna hold the bacon on. I actually like using the butcher string better than toothpicks because as the bacon cooks, uh, it doesn't fall off of the steak as easily when you have it tied on like this. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight and then tie a knot in the string. And we're gonna do the same thing for all of the steaks. Okay, so now that we have everything all tied up, we're just gonna go ahead and trim off some of this extra string. And we're just gonna wait for the oven and the pan to get up to temperature. Okay, now that our pan is hot, we're gonna put some butter in here. And what we're gonna do is sear each steak for about 90 seconds on each side. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip them. Now, since I'm using thick bacon, and this works better if you have thin bacon, what I like to do is just kind of roll the bacon edge just around the pan for a second. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and lay them all back down. And we're gonna go stick this in the 450 degree oven for about four minutes on each side. One thing to note, you can actually do this in the air fryer. So after you sear them in your cast iron, you can go ahead and switch them over to your air fryer at 450 degrees. Sometimes that'll crisp up the bacon a little bit better. I just like the oven technique. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of the oven. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna check the temperature on each one. We're at 100 degrees on this one, 100 degrees on this one, about 100 degrees on that one. This one's smaller. So this one's at 121. This one's almost done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven now that we flipped them over and we're gonna go for about another three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out. And we wanna immediately get them off of the heat. I have a feeling that one's overcooked. Now we're gonna let them rest for about five to 10 minutes. Resting is super important. A lot of people ask like, why are you resting it? You wanna rest it so that it absorbs all the juices back in. If you take a steak or any cut of meat and you cut it too early, you're gonna pour out all the juices and then what happens is the meat gets very, very dry. When you go to cut your steak, you should not have a lot of juice coming out of it. It should all be back up in the meat. That's what's gonna give you that nice juicy steak. Okay. This is nice. Filet mignon, we never make filet mignon. No. The steaks are too small. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's... See how that bacon is. So you're supposed to use like thin bacon when you do a bacon wrap steak, mm -hmm. but I don't have any thin bacon. I'm gonna cut right down the middle and see how this came out. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. There you go, that's a medium. Uh, Yours is medium rare. Mm. Wow. See. Mm. Perfect. How did you cook these? So these are cooked in a cast iron pan, mm -hmm. 90 seconds on each side. And they're seasoned, instead of using the garlic pepper, mm. I use the Redmond lemon pepper. A little bit different flavor profile. It does have like a nice like bright taste. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's like bright. Yeah. Maybe that's what comes with lemon. So yeah, 90 seconds on each side, into the oven, 450 degrees. Uh, Look at that. I go four minutes on the one side and then about three minutes on the other. You really need to just check. You're going for doneness. It's, people ask like how long. It's with meat, it's until it's done. You know, everything's gonna depend yeah. on thickness. You know, if you have a thicker steak, it's gonna take longer. If it's thinner, it's gonna take less. So the best thing you do is you do the one side, flip it over, and then you're gonna check it after a couple of minutes. Be patient. So. The problem with these were two of them were much thicker than the other. So yours are a perfect medium rare. Yeah, they are. Whereas these are close to the medium because these are a little bit thinner. I mean, like there's a huge difference in this one 
compared to that one. So if I was smart, I would just, you know, pull that one out first, but I'm kind of lazy that way. You're and like, plus, I together. don't mind it more on a medium side, whereas right. Rachel likes it. She wants it to still be mooing. <laughs> well, but I like the char on the outside. Yeah. It needs to have a nice crisp outside. And this bacon, I mean, I know we like crispy bacon, but this is cooked perfect for being around the steak. Mm -hmm. So, well, we actually have a live stream in a little while. I'm so excited. I need to turn the air conditioner on and get the house cooling down. Nice and cold because we have to turn it off. And I, I didn't eat much of my ice cream for breakfast. I only ate maybe a third of it. So I put that, I, what I do is with the creamy, if you don't eat it all, leave it in the creamy container. Yeah. And then I kind of flatten out, smooth out the top so it's nice and flat. And then I think after the live stream, I'm gonna put it back in the creamy and we'll probably just like split that for dessert. You're gonna share it? I'm gonna share it with you, why not? And then tomorrow, I have a, a little bit of cutting and then we have a guest for three days, right? Are you excited? I am so excited, but Tabitha is going to be way more excited. This, when she this, realizes this is going to be a madhouse. Oh my gosh! Right? They're we, just going to be running around and running around. And we running definitely around. need to check on potential activities in the local area that we can take them to, mm -hmm. so that they don't destroy the in, house inside of the house. Because mm -hmm. it's not that they're destructive dogs, but they love playing with each mm -hmm. other. And it's like, you've seen Tabitha's tail. Like, you can knock over anything. Right. Well, get that tail wagging with Ginny chasing her around in circles. Like, I'm super excited. Like, we need to, like, you have to wear them out, though. Yeah. Well, you know, before we end this video, we still have a whole bunch of those keto chows can to give Can we give, give away. some away? So I think we should give some away. And here's the thing. The only way anybody's going to know we're even giving away if they waited all the way to the end of the video. That's right. So hopefully you've watched all the way to the end of the video because we're going to do five more giveaways. We're going to leave the date that we're going to draw the winner down below in the uh, description box. So make sure you go down there and check. It's going to be about a week after this video gets released, but I don't know what day this video is going to be released. And as always, we will post the winners in the community section and there's a link for that down below. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have bacon wrapped steak, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye. bye.